We're going to discuss FPS. For those of you that don't know, FPS is frames per second. Lots of times FPS is confused for latency uh, la or lag. There is a clear difference though. FPS, your frames per second, is dependent on the equipment you are playing on, your PC. So if you have major FPS issues, 90% of the time it has nothing to do with your internet connection or the servers of the game you're playing on. It actually has to do everything with the PC that you are using and how much stress that P that game or that program is using on your processor and your graphics card. Now Aeon is really hard on people's graphics cards and processors. Uh, it's a very high demanding game for those two components so a lot of people's rigs are just not built for playing this game unfortunately and uh, but there are some things you can do to make your game run a little smoother and run a lot better and so i'm just gonna go through a couple of them real quick uh this also will help drastically during siege time that's one of the biggest complaints i always hear is people say they don't like going to siege because they lag too much and really it's not that they're lagging it's they're having FPS drop so right now if you look at my top right corner I have my FPS counter on and you can see it's only running at about 10 to 12 frames per second and that is really terrible uh, realistically you want to maintain 30 FPS or higher at 30 FPS it's gonna look pretty smooth it's not gonna be all jumpy it's gonna be much easier for you to play with so first thing that you can do when you're in a high populate area is you can disable other characters that are outside of your group and to do that all you do is you hit control F12 Oh, shift F12. I'm sorry. I have my cheat, my hotkeys change. Your default way to do it should be shift F12. So if you hold down shift and then you hit F12, see all these players disappeared? Now look at my FPS. Look at that. It's staying in the 30s. It's moving real smooth. I can move around freely. That is one of the best things you can do while playing this game. Now, if you're still struggling and you're still having low FPS, there's a couple more options you can do. First, we're going to go into our options menu. And default to get there is you hit O on your keyboard and then just go over to options. Now, once you're in your options menu, this will pop up right away. You're in your game options under names. Now this is a real quick easy one to go through. Uh, for sieges what I like to do is I disable legion name. And by doing this, see so you got rid of all that text above everyone's heads. Now that's going to help drastically keep your FPS higher. It's less that has to be rendered in in the zone, in the area. It's going to help a lot. And if you want to go even a step further, we can hide people's titles and ranks. Now look at all that area they just cleared up. Now that is a ton of space and little pixels that your computer doesn't have to fight to try to make. So that will help your gaming rig run a little smoother, especially during Siege. It really helps. If you're still struggling, you can take it even further. We can go and we can disable NPC names. I don't recommend doing that though if you're not too familiar where all the NPCs should be in the game. So you can go through and just disable friendly or enemy PCs. Uh, PC is for player control. So if I do that, everything's gone now. You don't see uh, other Asmodians as you are running around now and this is gonna help a ton for players 
if your PC is kind of a potato. But you can go through and kind of select and deselect different settings. Try to find what's best for your computer, what runs the best. Another option is you can go into your graphics setting, which is the second tab over. And then we're going to want to go over to, let's start here with the miscellaneous. Now, how I got the little FPS marker in the top right corner is right here. I enabled this display frames per second because I like to know how well my computer is performing, how smooth the game is running. If I'm playing and I feel like the game is kind of uh, jumpy or not doing very well, I want to know if it's FPS or if it's actual lag. Because if it's FPS, I have more control over that. I can change settings. I can make it better on my own. Now if it's actual lag, that's a little out of my control and there's not much you can do about it. So it's very important to be able to, be able to uh, see and tell the difference there. Uh, something you can do is you can turn down your character detail. You can change it down to low, medium, high, or leave it on auto where it's going to pick the best setting for your PC that it thinks it can handle. That's not always the best option depending on your computer. So you might want to turn it down low just for sieges or if you're doing a high populated area event. Uh, effects. This is something I don't recommend disabling. Because when you disable effects, what's going to happen is if you forget to turn it back on and you go to run an instance like IDD and Baritra goes to do a AOE where the ground glows under him, you're not going to see if it's disabled. And if you don't see that, you might be caught in his AOE attack and end up dying or getting already wiped. So I like to leave this enabled no matter what. Uh, another option is we can go into our graphics engine setting. Now your graphics engine, you usually have two to three results depending on the graphics card you're using. There should be a low setting, a default, or a high. For some reason with this graphics card that I'm currently using on this particular PC, I only have default and high quality. So. I'm able to run at high quality and stay above 30 FPS, so I'm just going to leave it there because otherwise I'm going to have to restart my client. Uh, another thing you can do for Siege is you can enable this fixed FPS, and what that will do is it will kind of lock in how your computer is performing at the moment that you lock in. So if I were to lock in right now, right here, it's going to try to lock in settings to keep it running around 40 to 44 FPS. The problem with that though is it doesn't always keep up with it and sometimes it can cause a little delay in your game with your FPS. So you can play around with that. Some players swear by it, say it makes their gameplay way better. Others just can't stand it because it will uh, really tone down everything. It will kind of give it a grish keep hue. Let me see if I can show you here. See how everything kind of has a grayish hue to it now. It's real dull, not sharp. So some people it really bugs. Others, they're okay with it. Personally, I don't like playing with fixed FPS, so I leave it disabled. My PC is good enough that I don't have to worry about it, luckily. Now for a final step, we can go into advanced settings. And in here, instead of using the default settings that the game has set up for you. Like if I were to do an auto detect right now, it's going to crank all of these to high. It's going to put on all the graphics. It's going to try to display everything as far away as possible, which does make the game look really pretty, but not very functional, especially if you're trying to do, once again, siege or a large raid. So in here, you can kind of go and fidget, see what runs best on your PC, uh, what works best for you. Personally, I always turn down my, wa my water effects and my shadows and my shaders. Uh, those are things that I'm not really concerned with when I'm playing the game. Uh, I'm not looking to see my reflection in a pond of water as I run by. Uh, if I'm out PvPing or trying to get to a raid, uh, that's not a priority for me, so I'm okay with not being able to see that. 
Another thing, of course, you can disable the weather effects. Uh, although the weather effects in this game can be pretty neat in different areas, once again, it's not vital to your gameplay. Uh, it's really not going to do anything for you if you can see if it's raining or snowing in the game right now or if it's sunny and 80 degrees, you know. So it's another thing you can disable. So you can kind of just go through and play with all these settings. And if you hover over them, it'll give you a description on which each one is. And I just recommend before playing with these, maybe just take a screenshot real quick. Or kind of mark down where all your settings were originally before you play with them. So if you end up playing with them a little and decide, hey, I really don't like this. I want to go back to how things were. You have a template that you can look at and be like, okay, this was set here, this was set there, and so on and so forth. So that's basically all I have for in-game to help with your FPS. Uh, another big FPS strainer for people is background programs. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, your FPS is very dependent on your processing speeds and your graphics card. And if you have other programs that are bogging that down, it's going to affect your gameplay. So uh, before going to Siege or going into a large raid, you might want to check to make sure you don't have background programs running that you don't need. Uh, most common one that people overlook is like Google Chrome. Even if you have a Google Chrome tab open and there is nothing on that page, it's just the default home page for Google Chrome that uses a lot of processor power. Google Chrome is a processor killer. Make sure you close out of all your Google Chrome tabs or your Internet Explorer if you're using that for some messed up reason, Firefox, Moxilla, uh, what have you. Make sure you close all of those if you don't need them while you're playing. Uh, you also want to make sure you disable if you have a Windows Media Player playing in the background or anything like that. Basically any programs that you are not using while you're playing the game, try closing all of them. Uh, I know lots of people like to play with Discord or TeamSpeak 3 or some people are even still using Ventrilo. Those are things that uh, most players need in order to play so just be careful what you're running and what you're not running. But that's basically all I have for tips that are quick and easy that most players can go through and do. I hope this really helps some of you and I hope it improves your gameplay and makes it more enjoyable so you guys uh, want to just keep sticking around and participating in large player events. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment below. Remember to like this video if it helped you and to always subscribe. Thank you guys.